ISTQB Foundation Level, Question 271. Customers of the test wash car wash chain have cards with a record of the number of washes they have bought so far. The initial value is zero. After entering the car wash, the system increases the number on the card by one. This value represents the number of the current wash. Based on this number, the system decides what discount the customer is entitled to. For every tenth wash, the system gives a 10% discount, and for every 20th wash, the system gives a further 40% discount, i.e. a 50% discount in total. Which of the following sets of input data, understood as the numbers of the current wash, achieves the highest equivalence partition coverage? A. 19, 20, 30 B. 11, 12, 20 C. 1, 10, 50 D. 10, 29, 30, 31 Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ISTQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. According to ISTQB syllabus, to achieve 100% coverage with equivalence partitioning, test design technique, test cases must exercise all identified partitions by covering each partition at last once. Pay attention, this is an equivalent partitioning question not a boundary value analysis question. Don't mix up these black box test design techniques. The most important thing is to determine the equivalence partitions correctly. There are three classes of partitions. Class 1 is no discount. Class 2 is 10% discount. Class 3 is 50% discount. Correct answer is A. 19 covers the no discount partition. 20 covers the 50% discount partition. And 30 covers the 10% discount partition. These three value cover all three of the valid equivalence partitions. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer B is not correct. 11 and 12 cover the no discount partition, while 20 covers the 50% discount partition. So, covering two of the three valid equivalence partitions. Answer C is not correct. One covers the no discount partition, while 10 and 50 cover the 10 person discount partition. The 50 discount partition is not covered. So, overall, two of the three valid equivalence partitions are covered. Answer D is not correct. 29 and 31 cover the no discount partition, while 10 
and 30 over the 10% discount partition. The 50% discount partition is not covered. So overall two of the three valid equivalence partitions are covered. My recommendation, please don't mix up black box test design techniques. The most important thing is to determine the equivalence partitions correctly. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.2.1, equivalence partitioning in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out this section on your own. Maybe this question seems complicated at first glance, but after practicing with the help of my video channel, ISTQB questions, you will quickly learn how to answer such kinds of questions and prepare for the ISTQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. Never give up 